Alright guys, uh, kind of a breaking news video, uh, sad video, shocking update video, so uh, if you're following me over on Twitter throughout, you know, the regular BS that I'm usually tweeting, um, you, you've known that I've been tweeting out a little bit about Etika recently as he's gone missing from the internet after posting his weird video uh, just a couple days ago, basically uh, posting what seemed to have been a goodbye video and a suicide note basically what it seems to have been in the description and um basically not having contact with anybody um whatsoever it seems uh it, it's hard for me to talk about man because i we don't know the full details i i, I don't i just want to say that before we get into this we don't know fully i can't confirm whether or not he's alive but um it, it's really not looking too good here uh this video obviously isn't monetized due to the nature of it but um Unfortunately, there is a very massive update in the whole situation, and uh, I wanted to make a video to kind of update everybody on the situation, because I have been talking about it. I haven't been making videos about Etika throughout any of his breakdowns or anything, simply because, I mean, I'm not a fan of the guy, but I mean, this if if this is going the way that it is going, it's, it, it's going to be a very tragic uh, scene for the entire community. I mean, even if... You know, this guy has been acting the way he has over the last few months, even if he has been doing what he has been doing and, uh, quote-unquote, leaving a tarnished legacy or whatever he did say. He, uh, he, he didn't deserve to kill himself, and, you know, it's just sad to see because you never really understand, almost, like, what somebody's going through on a personal level from the outside. Like, you know, it's clear from outside perspective that the guy had something going on, you know, that he needed help or that he was faking it for for internet views but uh it, it doesn't seem that he he's been faking it and you know that that was kind of what a lot of people were thinking for a long time there is that he had been faking all this simply to i guess draw attention around his name but uh, i mean if everything is going down the route that it uh that it really looks like it's going down i I don't think he's alive. I mean, I hate to say it, but uh, a huge shout out to Tipster. He is a YouTuber who makes news content and stuff, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop his Twitter down below. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have uh, found out about this, so I do want to shout him out and credit him for it. But um, he made an update video that I saw, and uh, he linked an article that I read. And um, apparently, after, you know, Etika made his video and whatnot, and uh, disappeared basically from the internet. New York, obviously, the police department, who have been dealing with Etika for months now, with his outbursts and stuff like that, you know, um, searched his apartment, did not find him, have no idea where he's been for the last few days, and have been searching the city and the bridges and stuff to see where he's been. Well, an unfortunate update is finally here, folks, and um, uh, it, it appears... That while canvassing the Manhattan Bridge on Wednesday night, the police found um, Etika's New York State driver's license along with several other cards, his wallet, his cell phone, a black and red Nintendo Switch, a laptop bag believed to belong be belonging to him, uh, which contained a pair of boxers, a shirt, shorts, headphones. And like I said, um, he basically posted a video in which he admitted that he was suicidal, basically posted this video, disappeared, they've been looking for him, they have not been able to find him, they find all of his possessions on the Manhattan Bridge, and uh, I, I'm not trying to make any correlations in, or anything like that, but I did retweet a video that people uh, were, I guess, trying to link possibly, where I think this was in New York, people were recording a body that did happen to look like Etika floating in the water, um, police did not make any identification that I was aware of. Now, uh, like Tipster said in his video, this, like I said, does not confirm that he is dead, we're not confirming anything yet here, I mean, he, there's no obituary or anything, he, he's not, they haven't found his body or anything, he could have just dropped everything on the bridge, he could have, like, walked off or anything, I mean, he, he could still be alive for all we know, and nothing is set in stone, but I mean, realistically speaking, finding all of his belongings on a bridge after he posts a video claiming to be suicidal is definitely not a very good sign. I definitely hope that he's still alive, I just, I, I don't know what the odds are, I, I don't know if police have any more updates, apparently they found all this stuff Wednesday night and it's just now coming out, so maybe they do have updates and they haven't said anything about it, I don't know. The only thing I really ask people don't do at this point is to, like, suggest really that he's doing this for, for publicity. I mean, at the end of the day, there's no way 
for him to feasibly do this for publicity. There's no way that he could fake a suicide attempt and come back and, and have a career. It's not going to happen. Please don't speculate that ignorant shit in the comments. It's just not going to happen. There's no way he's going to literally fake a suicide attempt. There's no way he's going to lead police on a several day search throughout the entire city of New York. Costing the city of New York God knows how much money to, to find him in this situation. Okay? just so he can get some clout on the internet and act like he's not going to face any repercussions for that, like it's not illegal to do that, you know, for inducing panic and, you know, things like that. It's just, it's stupid that people are still suggesting this. This is a serious situation. It was serious in the first place. It was serious when he was already having mental issues and was showing it with his breakdowns and the way he was acting before. It's serious now that they're finding his belongings along a bridge after he posted basically a suicide video. If there's any more major updates, I'll let you guys know. Um, the links and stuff down below are there for you. You can read the original source. You can go check out Tipster. I'm sure he will do all the updates you need for this situation, but... I know a lot of people on Twitter have been trying to ask me about this. Hey, you need to do a video about this. And a lot of you, I guess, are fans of Etika. I wasn't really a fan of him. But, I mean, he doesn't deserve to kill himself over this. So, I mean, if you're watching this, man, for whatever reason, if you're still alive, dude. Etika, if you're somehow watching this, if you're still alive, man, I, I really hope you are. Because even though you did some weird stuff and you had those weird outbursts, that doesn't mean you deserve to kill yourself. You know... Just please let your fans know that you're okay. Let the police know that you're okay. You got to get yourself some help, man. I mean, you, you got some problems, obviously. You, you're dealing with some suicidal thoughts that need to be dealt with. and I mean, that that's basically it. So that's just the update. I just wanted to let everybody know about that. So.